Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Helen, you're watching Stitch Rip Repeat and today's video is a Friday Sews, which is all about what I have been up to, anything sewing related I want to chat about, any sewing items I may have bought, plans going forward and just general chit chat. So do hope you'll stay tuned. I don't think it'll be too long. I haven't got any actual sewing, but I've got lots that I want to chat to you about. I am going to briefly start with my So Heli Jane box I got this month. So it's not a proper unboxing, but I did want to share with you what I, what I received. First of all, you may already have seen on other people's channels that Haley has introduced this wrap around the boxes, which is really cute. Um, but also it's really useful if you want to then recycle the boxes because they don't have Haley's stamp on the corner. So I can use them with the children to decorate them and reuse them. I can gift them. So it's a really good way of getting more use from the boxes that come every month. So this month's theme was Hocus Pocus and the magazine has all the usual fabulous content interviews with people who put items in the box with people who subscribe they have three way, three makes three ways and tamlin does a wonderful tutorial with the fat quarters it's really good if you do not know about Haley jane obviously you can search there is loads of people out there who do unboxings of both the classic and the luxury and then if you do fancy taking a closer look i'll pop Haley's website in the description box, as well as a code which she has given me that if you do decide you want to sign up to get in the boxes, you can use my code and get 10% off your first box and I will receive a small commission. So it's a win-win if you do decide to join. So yeah, first thing I noticed was there was a little change. Haley kindly popped in a sort of extra page for the magazine to say that there'd been manufacturing issues on the item that was expected in this month. So I think the item in question were going to be stickers and because they had those issues we instead got this really fab little print there which I'm hoping you can see. It says at the bottom signs of the zodiac <laughs> and I think that's gorgeous and I have no doubt it'll be added to my little wall of postcards or I may even frame it and pop it up over there. <laughs> so that was really nice this month. The item, oh, sorry, I should start. The sweet was a drumstick and that is long gone. So <laughs> the item in the box was a gorgeous smelling, I could smell it before I opened the box, spiced pumpkin latte wax melts from a company called Chalk and Cheese. So I'm really looking forward to trying those in my burner down in the lounge. The fat quarters are so cute this month, especially if you like cats. You've got a pink leaf one with all different little cats faces in the fabric there. There is this really cute green one with the black cats in the windows there. Also got this blue one with the plants all over. And finally, I got this creamy coloured background one and it's got cats <laughs> again in various positions all over it so really cute fat quarters i would love to make something up with that in fact the um the th oh, can't talk today <laughs> the fat quarter project that tamlin did are these really cute little pumpkins so i might well actually do the project from the book because i think they look really cute now the fabrics that came in the classic box, I believe came in three colorways. I'm just gonna quickly check. Yes, they did. The other colors were an emerald green and a pale blue, I believe. Um, you have to check out other people's classic boxes. Mine is this color, and this is a really gorgeous, I think it's showing up quite well there, purpley color. And it is two and a half meters of this gorgeous 100% cotton with this sort of, um, Hayley said it reminded her of spiderwebs. So it has this all over it and it looks really fab. Now, the minute I opened this fabric, I thought, hmm, that looks familiar. So I have two and a half meters of this gorgeous purple color. I also have, I wanna say I bought this, well, a while ago now. I can't remember who from, I'll have to look it up, but I have it. <laughs> I've got about two metres of the 
dark blue. Now I want to say that Hayley had a pale blue. So this is a fourth colour because the other <laughs> one that I already have is the emerald green. So I obviously like it because I already had the blue and the green and now I have this gorgeous purple. So might have to make something with colour blocking or ruffles where I can add different colours because I have about five or six metres of this fabric now in these three gorgeous colours. So yeah, I was really happy with this month's box from Hayley. Other things I've quickly had in the post that I want to share, a few people have been sharing this, that I have got this year's countdown calendar from Kylie and the Machine. And it's definitely smaller. Last year's was much bigger and had um, three of her sewing labels in and it also had a couple of patches. But I noticed this one, it says it's got 48 labels. So bearing in mind, I'm assuming there's 24 days for the lead up to Christmas. That means there's two in each day. But I'm more than happy with that and I need to start sewing more labels in. So I've got that ready for Christmas, which I'm very excited about. And then while I was away at the Knitting and Stitching show the other weekend, I had ordered some stuff that I'd seen the lovely Liz, who is the baker that sews, talk about. And she got these from First from first Four... I'll start again. She bought hers from First Four Fabrics, which you probably all know is where Tamlin works. And Tamlin wrote the note inside here. And funnily enough, she did ask. If I was persuaded by Liz, yes, 100% I was. Look at this gorgeous fabric. I can't remember whether, I think it's a jersey. I think this one's a cotton jersey. The other one might be a French terry, but look, I've got myself one and a half meters of this very cute Halloween themed. And very selfishly, the plan is to make myself a t-shirt with this. And the theory was to wear by Halloween. The Halloween is creeping up very quickly and I just know I won't get it done, but <laughs> never mind. I think I might have got two metres of this one. I will double check and put it on the screen. And I think this one, I'm just checking. Is it a French terry? This one feels really soft inside and I think it might be a French terry. But this one is so cute. Look at this. It's got these little ghosts and some of them are asleep. <laughs> My 15 year old son saw this and he wanted me to make him something, but I am a very selfish sewer and I really wanted this for me. So I think I'm gonna have to whip something up very quickly and then say to him, I'm really sorry, you don't have any left. <laughs> Is that mean? <laughs> am I a mean mummy? That's what I'm planning to do. So yeah, so I got those from First for Fabrics as well. So I've had some lovely posts recently. As I said, or I think I said, I have had a little bit of work on my sew up cycle project that I am doing, which is ready for the end of this month. If you haven't checked that out already, please do check out my video all about my plans, which hopefully I'll pop a link here. And do go check out Karen, who is So Little Time, and Becky, who is Notes from the Sewing Room. They are the originators of the challenge and they have all the details on their YouTube channels as well as playlists for everybody who's done videos about it so far. So mine, if you've already seen it, you will know, is a Alexa jumpsuit by Tilly in the Buttons, which I am upcycling because if you look in the video, it does not suit me. I haven't done a huge amount so far. I have done what I said I would do, which is to take off the channel that was on the outside for a tie belt. And I have detached the top from the bottom. <laughs> so um, it was nicely overlocked and finished. So um, I had to do not only the seam, but undo all the overlocking. So I sat and did that in front of the telly the other day while I had um, some time to spare. So I'm really happy with how that's turning out. If you have seen the video, you will know I am planning to literally just make it into a little top. So I have started cutting up <laughs> the legs, which are the fabric I need. And I am planning, see if I've got any already here. Yeah. So I am planning a band around the bottom of, let's see if I can get it up here. Uh, here we go. So where I've got the top, <laughs> excuse me, I'm going to put this band around the bottom and make it into literally just the top. So I think it's going to be really cute. So I have started work on that. I have also jotted down the amount I need for these. So I need 
a strip for front left and front right and I need a strip for the back obviously I need to think about seam allowances to join them together as well but once I've worked all that out I shall cut out some strips and hopefully once I have attached them to the top that will be my finished item ready for reveal on the 31st of October. So yeah, not a huge amount of sewing and I'm not 100% sure next week how much I'll get done. Next week is half term here in the UK. I have Monday, I do have sewing plans, well, sort of sewing plans. The lovely Angela, who you know is my friend down here in Plymouth and is also Devon Fred Tales. Uh, the lovely Angela and I had a chat while we were knitting and stitching talking about our huge amounts of fabrics that we really don't think we're going to get through. I definitely think mine is more than Angela's. <laughs> but we decided that we were going to spend a day at each other's and help that person to go through their stash because I don't know about you, but I'm terrible for picking up something. I may have had it five or six years, but I'm still thinking, oh no, I loved that. Oh yeah, I was thinking of making this. Oh, I'm sure I'll use it at some point. Realistically, if I've had it five or six years, probably not actually going to use it. Um, so we think that if we've got another person there, we can be a little bit more brutal. We're going to hopefully cut down Angela's stash into what she actually wants and will sew with, into fabrics that she thinks she can de-stash, and then fabrics she thinks she can recycle to um, things like the scrap store we have here in Plymouth, or maybe to schools for projects, things like that. So I'm looking forward to that. On Monday, we're going to Angela's, and then on another day, we're going to come to mine. We may need a bit longer for mine. <laughs> um, so yeah not sure how much sewing I will get done but excitingly I am making some plans for projects long-term projects basically over the next 12 months why you may ask <laughs> well this is my exciting news so earlier this week I got an email saying that I've been invited to join slack which I have used before on a pattern testing by the lovely Brianna from forget me not patterns and it's quite funny because they're called Forget Me Not. And yet I'd completely forgotten <laughs> that this was because back in July, they sent out a call over on Instagram asking for people that they would like to add to a team that they were going to use, that they were going to call Pattern Insiders. And the idea was that they would give you access to all of their pattern catalogue for 12 months for free. And in return, they wanted you to sew at least four of their patterns over that year, talk about them and share them on social media. I was very happy to apply for this back in July, but then I, like I say, completely forgot. So I was thrilled to see that they wanted me to be one of the pattern insiders. And I immediately was like, oh, which one am I gonna make first? I made the gorgeous Natalie skirt back when they asked for testers and hopefully I'll pop in photos. I did a couple of versions and I love them both. But I'm thinking I'm going to do a dress for my first one. I have downloaded two of the dresses that they have got in their patterns. And they are the Adeline dress, which I thought looked a really gorgeous wrap dress. And I really think that'd be lovely over winter. And also the Clementine dress, which I recently saw on Instagram with a lovely cozy cardigan. And then when I looked at it, there's a couple of options for a sort of a regular neckline and a cow neckline. So hopefully I'll have popped in some photos. But yes, that's just so exciting. It means that I'm going to be looking through the catalogue and choosing on a sort of monthly basis which one I think I'm going to make. I'm obviously going to make at least four because that was the deal. But I'd love to make more than four over the next 12 months. So maybe next October I shall do a little roundup and hopefully you'll see like half a dozen or more of the wonderful patterns. So do go check out Forget Me Not Patterns if you haven't already and obviously stay tuned to see how I get on. As I say, I've decided for the dresses, I haven't decided which one and I haven't decided which fabric. So I may well share that in my next Friday sews if I've already decided. So that's about it for this week. I hope you're enjoying something sewing related and I will see you all in my next video. Mm -hmm.